Sinatra. Let's see. Let me get a Sinatra. There's a good Christmas one. Well, I'll be at the Christmas. About it. I have all these Sinatra, so I know which ones are the best. There's a cool Sinatra one over here. Frank put out a lot of records, but my favorites were like the Columbia ones from the 40s. Oh, there's That's a good one, four dollars. Hmm. Oh, I might get a couple of Sinatras. And uh, their jazz collection upstairs is pretty good too. I've been coming to Vestige for about ten years. So oh wow! It's um pretty good. I just have a drink for I carry one of four bucks. Woo! <laughs> So I know where all the good records are around here. Cool. All right. So hold on. Okay. Can you tell me what the first record you ever got was? From here? Yeah. Well, I mean, just in general. And like, well, just give me a background of like why you like vinyl, like what got you into it, whatever um, you want to say. Okay. Well, I first got a, um, the first record I ever got, gosh, I don't even know because it's been so long. Um, but um, I just think that um, like basically I have like so I have like over a thousand records and like they're just all in like these crates like all in my house and um, I've gotten a lot of them from here but I've also gotten a lot of them from like um, the River Street Beat Shop in Troy which is mm -hmm. a good place to get records mm -hmm. and also just local Salvation Armies and Google stores because um, uh, it's amazing sometimes what you find like in the dollar bins and stuff when people are, you know, like getting rid of their collections and stuff like that. Um, I just, I've always liked records, um, but I always had like CDs and tapes. Tapes are so good to me and stuff like that too. 8-track was a little bit before my time, but vinyl are still like more fun, especially, you know, just like just having the record and stuff like that. And um, it's also good, like the covers are good for like when you're rolling up a joint. So. <laughs> You can't really do that on a CD or paper. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in my in my documentary. Um, yeah. So like, I don't know. Do you feel like it's like a different experience? Like a lot of people yeah, it's like more vinyl. Of an experience. It's more of a home experience, and um, it's more of a fun experience. Um, and um, but still, um, other formats are good too. Mini discs never really made it, but I have a couple of mini discs. Mm -hmm. And um, but so stuff like that. Um. Okay, wait, what do I have here? Yeah, the why... Joe, by the way, Joe Minnesel. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm actually going to need I'm that. A resident of Clifton Park. Of Clifton Park. Yeah, okay, she's cool. Andrea Lizzie. She's from Albany. Cool. Nice to meet you guys. Um, okay. Well, well okay, so there my whole... Store, they had a store, too, up in Saratoga for a while, Last Vestige. And we used to go there once in a while. It was a lot smaller store. But I think they closed that down probably about five years ago, and now it's just all about this Albany store. You like this? Do you like this one? Yeah, this Albany store is really good, yeah. Down here, this is where some of the hip-hop, and like I said, I was looking through the Sinatras. Sinatra is one of my favorite artists, so, and I own pretty much all of his records, although he put out a lot of stuff, but, um, and, um, like, so down here, this is where, and, like, the vocals and comedy stuff, and then, like, upstairs, they have the little jazz room with like a lot of jazz, which is good. And then over in the main part is like mostly like their rock and roll stuff. And uh, this shop is on Quail Street in Albany. Mm -hmm. And um, what do you, uh, why, okay, do you have any thoughts or opinions as to why like vinyl hasn't completely died out? And like, it's actually getting, it's, it's increasing. Like, sales are increasing Yeah, more. people are like getting more into people it. People realize that, oh my gosh, like downloads, like you don't really own it. So like when your hard drive crashes or like, you know, you lose your um, phone, like you lose all your music. And like the vinyls kind of like stay around unless there's like a fire in your house. And, like, mm -hmm. vinyls burn up. But like a vinyl is like going to last a lot longer. And um, I think it's just been like one of those things that won't ever really die out. And like I think people will go more to them. I even heard about something like possible turntables inside cars that they can really? open, like that won't like, yeah, that won't scratch somehow. So I've even heard about that stuff coming out. But um, I think it's always going to be uh, something that's. Like Technics for a while, they stopped making turntables, and then recently they stopped. They started again making them. So um, it's just it, evidence indicates that records are kind of like on the rise again. So yeah, of course. Um, yeah, that's like the whole reason I'm doing this whole thing. Do you thing. like records? Do you have any? I do. Well, I mean, 